Um, yeah, I was going to bring some out. Let's say Matthew. Um, this is uh, Matthew chapter 6 and verse uh, 5. It says, When thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Really, I say unto you, they have their reward. Mm. Um, just to finish on 6, it says, But thou, when thou prayest, enter into the, thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. That's right. He's going to reward you openly, man. Like, uh, uh, being able to, uh, you know, just uh, just level with the Lord on a, you know, just kind of level with him. You know what I mean? And he understands what you need, man. He created you. <laughs> he knows what you like. He knows what you need. Those are two different things. All right? See what I'm saying? Because what you like doesn't always coincide with what you need. You need a roof over your head, right? Maybe you don't need to be, you know what I'm saying? You never, might need to ha not have the biggest house, right? That's on a block. You know what I'm saying? You might not need to have, you know what I'm saying, a car for certain areas. You know, like whatever. The Lord the Lord does what everyone does within it, within this um, in this story, man. And it's all for it's all for a purpose, man. Because eventually he's going to get the glory. All right? The Lord, Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. His son is getting the, is gonna get the glory on this earth forever and ever and ever. Guess what, man? He's not selfish. He loves his brethren, the Israelites. So therefore, if, you, if we walk as, the, as our Lord does, Yahweh Mashiach, you you walk as he did and you follow in his ways, man. Guess what? There's a glory for you. I got a script for that, uh, and you can finish off on that if you got some more on that. Uh, this is a uh, Second Corinthians four and sixteen. That's a spirit. It says, for, for which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Verse 17, for our light affliction, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. You brothers and brothers. Okay, you know, that's, uh, you can read 17 again. Yeah, this is right. Uh, this is of Second Corinthians four and seventeen. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. God, it says for our light affliction, man. This is the time that we're in, man. It's the time for for a light affliction. You know, this isn't the time for the eternal glory. We're in the kingdom right now. You know, so it says the work is but for a moment. All right, this isn't. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So this is the mentality, the mentality that we that we in, man. The the true the true men of the Lord are going to be in that spirit. We're not going to be in the spirit of, oh man, like this ain't supposed to be like this. Like I need to, you know what I'm saying? My life need to be better by now. Like I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, <laughs> what are you in this thing for? You know what I'm saying? Or are you trying to get some type of glorification on this side? Well, shit, don't this truth supposed to make your life better? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right. Right. That's, right. That, that's just that's that, that's that, that's supposed to make your life. That's the best your life can be, receiving this truth, you know? Well, the, you you wasn't even living till you received this truth, ultimately. Kind of. He was dead, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Dry bones. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. Kind of. I was, I was, I was actually going to, that's the spirit, because I was going to get that. Um, I was actually going to get 18. If you want to bring it out of that. Uh, I, you want me to read down 18? Kind of. This is uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 4 and 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but are, but at the things that which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. God, so, so the, seen, the things which are seen are, are temporal. You know what I'm saying? Everything here is temporary, man. The scriptures say, be carnally minded is death. All right? So if you look at things just on the physical form, everything that's temporary, then, hey, man, you, 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 you. Hey man, you got that plague of the mind. You gotta deal. With, you gotta deal with that. You know what I'm saying? But it says, but the things which are not seen are eternal. All right, what's eternal is the, the kingdom, man. That's where we're trying to get to. We, we're not trying to get into some type of uh, some pseudo kingdom within this captivity, man. Trying to uh, try to make ourselves, you know, feel better. Like yeah, you know, we, we, yeah, Judah and just all this folly, man. Like, hey man, we we, we Israelites, all right. But now what? We have work to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't time to be yo, over here just. Right, yeah. I was about to say he didn't 
uh, reveal the truth of us, bring back some remembrance, the knowledge of us being Israelites for us to have a better life here in this place. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, that's not. We, we was brought back to the remembrance of who we was are, so we, who we are, so we can serve Yah by Shem You know, and righteousness can be established. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, shit, I got nothing to do with you <coughs> and how you feel. <coughs> you know, this uh, you, you, that was it. You had smoke. No, that was it. Okay, fine. Let me get this real. Right. It's uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse uh, 10. It says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. You know, an accuser of our brethren, that's Esau Eden, the damn devil. All right, so-called white men, okay? And that's another thing that a lot of uh, Israelites believe that we gonna somehow come up with some kind of revolt ourselves and, and bring down Esau ourselves. You know, are we gonna be able to combat him ourselves with our own kind of uh, uh, police, not police state selected, but what's that, what's they call that reparation thing with the three states? Um, reparations? Like it's uh, Salaki brother. Like, I'm, a, like I'm, a military, like? Something like that, like pretty much like Jake got this thing now where they trying to establish their own country within three states. Oh, somewhere. you call that, they call that uh, sovereignty. Yeah, yeah, your own kind of sovereignty, the water. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to make your own sovereignty. Yahabashim is going to bring us sovereignty. You know, he's the one who's going to cast down these devils. Okay, he's the one that's going to bring us recompense. All right, he's the one that's going to uh, reward us and and, uh, and and give us the pro promises of our forefathers. We're not going to do a damn thing. We got to wait. On your Habashim Al Shot in his appointed time and uh wait wait upon the Lord. You know, we right. can't we can't do nothing of our own will, you no. know. It says uh verse eleven, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. So that's look, that's the only way we can overcome this devil. That's the only way we can overcome this world is by the blood of the Lamb, which is our Lord Yahweh Shot, you know, and through the, the the blood of the Lamb is uh semblance spiritually for receiving this truth. You know, 100%, you know, having the Holy Spirit resting upon you, the Rakaka dust, you know, it says, and by the word of their testimony, and by the word of their testimony, you know, what testimony we have? We got the testimony of Yahweh's son, you know, which is this word, you know, that's how we're going to overcome, and not only just having this word, but believing in this word and living by this word, you know, it says, and they love not their lives unto the death, you know, so, we don't suppose the, 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 those who overcome this world, overcome our enemy, the adversary, you know, those who uh, who going to prosper with Yahweh Shem Yahshai, they, they love not their lives unto death. You know, they hated their they life. That's you right. know, we well, it tell you that our life is hid in Yahweh Shai. What the hell we love about our life? We don't have no life. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's So you, you an Israelite, oh, now my life is better. Yeah, your life is you. Well, you just now became alive, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you don't even know what life is. All right, so just appreciate that you got life. You know what I'm saying? That's just like you was just drowning. You know what I'm saying? That somebody pull you out the water. You know your ass dead. They give you CPR. You wake up like, yeah, but that was a fun swim, nigga. You better be having your ass alive, nigga. You was just about to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got pre stuff for you, real quick, and it's just bad. You can, you know, break it down. Yeah, yeah come. Yeah. This is a uh, Sirach 21 and 2. It says, Flee from sin as the face of a serpent. For if thou com comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof at, are as the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of men. That, that's Esau. <clears throat> that's Esau. Eat them all day long. You know what I'm saying? You you trying to. Hey, uh, man. Man, who is this devil, man? Yeah. All right. Man, is this. You mean tell me this right, weekly, uh, this, this pink. Rick Rickley, old man gonna gonna have power over me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He gonna rule over me. Nah, fuck that. We kings in this bitch. <laughs> you know, we gonna go smash on his ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. You yeah. should be embarrassed actually because he's in power over you. You should be embarrassed that the Most High allowed him to come to power over you, and you gotta look at this pink slimy devil uh, as your overlord. That's why you're supposed to cry because if, if the if the Heavenly Father allowed this devil to this weak ass devil to have power over us and conquer us like this, that's the more reason for us to cry out 
to the Heavenly Father and, yeah. and really be sincere with the Heavenly Father, like, please deliver us from this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you getting prideful. That's, that's, that's being prideful. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you said, you should be ashamed. You, you really should be. You should be really, you re you should be ashamed and embarrassed, kind of. Because like we were speaking out during, um, uh, you know, a couple, uh, you know, a week ago, you know, at, uh, at, during camp or whatever. I'm embarrassed. I don't know about you. I'm embarrassed, man. So-called white man is a buck. He is literally, his woman is jumping the gates to come s serve the servants. All right. She was saying she ready to get in line. The so-called white man's going to have to get cracked over the head, of course. But hey, man, that's an all in fun. All right. We don't want you to come willingly. We want to come. Like the scripture says, we shall take the kingdom. All right. That, that doesn't mean they're going to give it to us. We're going to have to take it. That's a part of the fun. Don't you want to be in the fun? Fine. But we're not going to literally take it. We're going to take it when the spirit of the Lord. Slocky. Like you're right. No, no, no. You, like no, you was on point. I was just adding to yeah. what you were saying. Yeah. That, we, we, that, I'm just saying how. That's right. Think, no, no. You, you, know, yeah, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, Fine. we going to. The Heavenly Father gonna give us the power to take the kingdom. That's you right. know what I'm saying? Like we It's through him actually. Yeah, that, that's it. We're not doing the damn thing down here. That's you right. know what I'm saying? We wouldn't even know we was Israelites if it weren't for Yahweh by Shema was shot. Right. You know, right. so how much more should we really completely submit ourselves to him? You know what I'm saying? Because hey, without him, we man. <laughs> Be a rat. Yeah, kind of. over with. You know what I'm saying? We still saying? be thinking we Egyptian e Egyptologists, you know what I'm saying? Christians praising. Jesus, <laughs> I mean, I, you know what I'm saying. I grew up, I grew up believing that, you know what I'm saying. We, uh, we were, you know, the first humans was, um, uh, I mean, not the first human. Uh, I, I grew up thinking that, you know, I knew that black people were the first people. That's one thing that my mom and them, but it was on some Egyptologist shit. That's why I kind of grew up in. That's why you can't fool me with that shit. I grew up at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Thinking that that was the truth, even though I was still going to church at the same time. That's why I couldn't, I didn't understand the parallels between church and Egypt. It didn't make any sense. Like, seemed like two different subjects. I'm just add this to what you were saying real quick. You know, that uh, God, they worship uh, Horus. Mm -hmm. You know, that's pretty much the same thing as Jesus Christ. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's the, the, the sun God, Cesare, it, it all is mm -hmm. synonymous with one, uh, one another. You know, so that's right. why a lot of those... Uh, a lot of people that believe in uh, Egyptian philosophy, but still to be in damn church. Still Christian, you know what I'm yeah, yeah, still a Christian. You know That's what that was my that was my experience. Yeah, kind. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm thinking, like I tried to identify with the Egyptian culture or whatever, not knowing that that was my captivity too. That was our captivity. Yeah, kind, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we had to escape that, just like we got to escape this. That's right. And, but it's got to be through the spirit of power. How about Shemuel Shai? Bro. First of all. Time, bro. All right. So the Lord is the Lord, like He said. For uh, this is for this is uh for for a small amount of time. As the brother was breaking down, man, this is just for a, a slight amount of time that we gotta go through this hell. It's only been five hundred years. Stop why y'all niggas bitching. It's yeah. for half a day. Yeah. All right. The last kingdom that Israel ran was the two third kingdom, right? That was the so called dark ages when you niggas had uh had a none uh had autonomy to do what the hell you wanted to do. You still try to stay so-called spiritual. Uh, you know, you try to stay religious, right? You know, through Constantine and, you know, through other uh, other means or whatever. But you niggas are still going on. That's why the most high had the, uh, the black plague wipe you out. You know what I'm saying? So he gets a lot of so-called white man to slither his way right to the top. And this is where we are right now. All right? You should be like I, like, like the brothers were saying, just saying, you should be embarrassed and ashamed that the so-called white man is your is your is your uh is your leader man ultimately all right the so-called white man is on a suicide mission man and if you join him you're gonna die with him all right that's why we don't really we hey man the so-called white man doesn't he does he there it, <laughs> there ain't enough money it ain't a, truly literally there's not enough money he could he could offer another planet if he could if he could provide it still won't be enough <laughs> it's not enough, man. Right. Because we understand just like Yahweh Shah understood. You, what can you? How could you offer me something that I already uh, 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 um, uh, am slated to uh, to inherit anyway? So part of my inheritance. How you gonna pull that move on me? That's the damn devil for you. <laughs> That's the devil. Man. That's, right. That's the devil. Selling you air and water. Yeah, come. You know. 
He, he steals some shit from you and then try to sell it back to him. <laughs> nigga, that's my shit. That's how niggas do, though. Yeah, yeah, Look, that's how niggas. That's, see, why, he real that's why he That's why he the real yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Steal your shit and help you look for it. <laughs> That's a real name. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, you guys more up? Um, you know, that's, that's it. Okay. You will read it one more time, Buffalo Chuck? Uh, kind of help me where I started. Oh, yeah, I was, I had, I had the pocket for it. Oh, okay, kind of. Yeah, this, uh, this is, uh, uh, Ciroc 21 and 2. Free from sin. It's like, it says, flee from sin as the face of a serpent. For if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men. Yeah, that's, that's what sin is. You know, trans, transgression of the law, man. You know, that's, that's you, you, got, you got to flee from it, man. You know, why? Because uh, just, just like you would flee from the face of a serpent, which is Esau, Edom, man. You know, like. And we, it's a part of sinning, you know, is uh, uh, thinking you could take things in your own hands, man. You know, that's you, that's 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 like a real, that's but that's pride. Yeah, you know, really, it's pride. Yeah. And that's like they say, rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. Kind, that's basically witchcraft. Yeah, kind, pretty much. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You you committing major offenses out here. And you know what I'm saying? Says suffer not a wish to live. Exactly. I was just thinking it. That's the spirit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you you you. You like the most wicked of, of the wicked. That's you right. know what I'm saying? You thinking that you can take something. Uh, well, when you go into the word rebel, it pretty much, it literally means a battle against your house. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you trying to fight against your house, though. The order that your house set up. That's why in Jeremiah you read, um, he, uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he appointed uh, King Nebuchadnezzar over uh, Israel. And he said, I have appointed my servant, ne uh, King Nebuchadnezzar, over you. And whosoever don't want to follow him, just roughly paraphrase, he's going to be put to death. You know what I'm saying? Why? Just because it's like, like Moses. Khan. That's right. You know? So you got, hey, whoever Yahabashim Yashat set up, you know what I'm saying? That's what we set up. And you you got to wait to the Heavenly Father. Because to tell you, uh, the Heavenly Father, he set up up and put him, uh, bring him down and set up another rough, just roughly paraphrase. You know, he, he put a one up and bring him down. We can't do nothing. We just got to abide in the will of Yahweh Hashim and, uh, you know, uh, and stay away from the ways of Esau, man, you know, right. which is this world, you know. That's right. That, that was it, huh? Yeah, that was it. Let me get this. This, uh, Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. It says, gather yourself together. Yeah, gather yourself. Yeah, gather your. It's like it's uh, Zephaniah chapter two verse one. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desired. And that's the nation of Israel, man. All right, we're not desired, man. All right, we we, we have to gather ourselves together. How do we gather ourselves together? Well, I tell you about that in First Kings the eighth chapter. You know, when we uh, come together, you know, and uh, cry out to the heavenly Father together. You no, know, well, let's just get there real quick, cause I don't want to misquote it. You know, this uh, First Kings, First Kings chapter eight, verse forty-seven. Uh, let me start. Let me start up a little bit. This First Kings chapter eight, verse forty-four. If thy people go out to battle against their enemy. Whithersoever thou shalt send them, and shall pray unto the Lord Yahweh, toward the city which thou hast chosen, and toward the house that I have built for thy name. And that's what we always did when we used to go to battle against the adversary, the enemy. We used to uh, pray to the Heavenly Father first, you know, to, for him to give us the power to defeat the enemy, for, for him to deliver the enemy into our hand, you know. It says, Then... Hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication and maintain their, maintain their cause. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near. You know, so that's what that's what the Heavenly Father allowed to happen. He'll allow you to get carried away captive to the enemy, you know. It says 
Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they will carry captives and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have said and have done perversely and have committed wickedness, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captive, and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. And forgive thy people that have sinned against thee, and that all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against thee, and give them compassion before them who carried them <coughs> captive, that they may have compassion on them. Mm -hmm. You know, so Yahabashim Yashai, he, 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 well, he control man's goings of the Lord. Yahabashim Yashai control everything. So we're supposed to be gathering ourselves together within the spirit, you know, and, 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 and making our supplications unto the Heavenly Father, man. We're not supposed to be doing nothing else of our own will. Why? Because Yahabashim Yashai, he control all this down here, you know. So we just got to continue to wait upon the Lord, you know. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, brother, you know that precept, wait upon the Lord? I think it's in Zephaniah or Zechariah. If you call it, or uh, I, we can look it up, of course. Kind, kind. I, I know what it is. It's escaping me right now. It's wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Zephaniah 3? Yeah, that's right. Let me see. Read it real quick. Zephaniah 3 and 8 it says, Therefore wait ye upon me, says the Lord. Time. Go out. Until the day that I rise up to the prey. Yeah, so we gotta wait upon you. How about she now? Shout to the day that he rises up upon the prey. You know, we can't. You know, we gotta, we gotta wait for the Heavenly Father to do something. We can't do nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Only thing we can do is do what he told us to do and continue to pray unto him. And that, that's a part of what he told us to do. You know? That's why I say, blessed is he who read them. You know, seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. Why? Because these are the things that's going to uh, help lead us into salvation. You know? Uh, let me finish, finish that verse. But that was yeah, you, yeah, you. you. It says, therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, so I can, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Ah, so this is the determination of the Heavenly Father, is to gather all these nations so he can destroy their ears, man. You know? And you don't want to be a part of the nation that the heavenly the nations that the heavenly father gathered up to destroy you know so you need to be uh abiding in his will man all right if you're not abiding in his will guess what you're gonna be destroyed like all these other nations why because these nations they're not abiding in his will you know and you're gonna be consi uh, considered a heathen man and be destroyed you know you, you had one up um Go ahead, you got some. Okay, Con, I got like two more. Yeah, man. Let it roll. <laughs> yeah. This uh Ezekiel chapter 12, verse. <clears throat> I started at 22. This is Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 22. Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the have in the land of Israel saying that the days are prolonged and every vision fell? And that's what Israel be saying, like, you know, uh, Man, y'all niggas be talking about this and that gonna happen. It ain't nothing gonna happen out here, man. Like I was talking to my uh my brother, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, man, bro, we gotta get some money out here. Which he always talking about this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get some money, bro. We can hold, you know what I'm saying? We gotta make sure we straight. You know what I'm saying? I just told him like pretty much, man, all my chips on this place being destroyed, man. Like, I don't, I don't care about making no money. Why? Because I know I, I'm betting on this place being destroyed. You right. know what I'm saying? And he like, man, you know, man, they they've been talking about the earth being destroyed. You know this? Yeah. That's that's how Jake think. Like, it's always talk about when is it gonna happen? You know? So be careful what you ask for. <laughs> there we go. Not being no more. <laughs> Verse twenty three. Tell them therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, 
I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. And that's pretty much what I told him, like, shit, we in that time right now. And he, he, he was like, he don't, he don't believe it. You know, he don't want to hear it. Why? Because he a friend of this world, you know? And, or, hey. <coughs> and that's why a lot of uh, so-called uh, men of the Lord, they not in the spirit of prophecy. Why? Because uh, the spirit of prophecy is uh, means destruction. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's mm -hmm. what's coming to this place, you know? And that people, people don't want to think about that, you know? It says, for there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering, flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, Yahweh, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall no more be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, said the Lord, Yahweh. And that's what's going on right now, man. Yahweh, she ain't playing no games. All right, salmonella on your ass, listeria on your ass. Flesh eating bacteria, rip current, rip, rip current tire, you know, hurricane, tornado, wildfire. How you doing? Same it? time. Yeah, just bringing it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just back to back to back. I got this up for you. Come. This is our wisdom of Solomon five and seven. We have wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone. We have gone through these deserts where they lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord Yahabashimah Shai, we have not known it. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Like, brother, uh, you can bring that out one more time. Kind of, kind of. This uh, Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 25. For I am the Lord, Yahweh. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it. That's the right. Lord, the Lord said he said the word, right? And how's he saying it? He's saying it through the prophets. Yeah. The prophets are the word, is, is the mouth of the Lord, man. Yeah. All right? And he says, now, and after once he says it, then he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. It's because he's merciful. Yep. Even, in, even in destruction, he's merciful. He's right. merciful to the fact that he'll tell you first. So he ain't going to just destroy you. What's the fun in that? Right? right? First, he's going, first he wants to tell you. Just so you can say, well, here yeah, he did tell us. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, I, I didn't know. No, nigga. No, no, you, no. Knew. you knew. Yeah. yeah. You, you live in, you, you, if you look <laughs> I like in this shit like to going on a blind date in 2019, right? Who in the fuck still does that? How can you go on a blind date? That should be outlawed. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm using that as an example right. because you're saying that in 2019, which is known as the uh, the information, the the the, the, uh, the age of information, right? It says in the last days that information shall increase it. Uh -huh. And now you got Jake's walking around knowing uh, what happened in 1619 and how the so-called white man got his name and how he became the so-called white man. There's books. This is information that we did not have 30 years ago, 20 years ago. We didn't have this information. Yeah. We have this information that lets you know what time we're in. Like the brother was speaking about his brother, and I have brothers like this too. They still debate me to this day, but I think I, I think five six years now. They're, I think they started to get that I'm not. This ain't a fad for me. This ain't this ain't something I just you know woke up and it's just like okay, you know now I'm an Israelite. You are too. I hate the so-called white man. They thought it was a fad at first, right? But when they seen now, I got the pleasure to see them watch Donald Trump become president. That was a great day because that's when it it, it hit him. Like oh this, this shit might be real. real. This yeah, shit for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when he and, and Lord willing he gets elected, re-elected in 2020, if we're still here, I want. I mean, even, you know, he, he, this is the beautiful thing. The brother talked about his brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically affirming his love for the for the, for the so-called white man in so many words. He's saying that this earth people have always talked about. You know, um, the destruction of the earth, man, which we know that's not to be true. The earth abide forever. Yeah. Scriptures say that, right? But the, uh, the, the 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 main point is we understand that we are not trying. We're not trying to build nothing here, man. Ain't nothing here to build, man. America's totally decimated. Bro, you don't see what the hell going on right here, bro? <laughs> this place is out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm bro, you got homeless tent cities. In uh, Los Angeles, man, sixty thousand and bro, growing, yeah, and growing, bro. And they got 
it's so bad out there, bro. They got like a wreck problem right now where you got people just shitting on the streets and the wrecks eating the shit now, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Which is uh, uh, pretty much bringing back a, a typhus outbreak in the, in the uh, uh, black uh the black plague the black the bubonic plague the, the bubonic plague you know and that's and that's how y'all about to see killed the that's how that's how they killed Jay last time yeah, that's what I'm saying. see what I'm saying yeah. we go into history to prove this time because during the, the, the twelve hundreds or when I forget when the uh it was uh during the dark ages uh, around about three the year three hundred and something so like you. Okay. but it was during the time when uh when um you know what I'm saying when when uh so called Moors and all of those yeah. When we ruled according to Revelations, uh, what's that? Uh, it talks about a thousand years. Uh, we should, yeah, yeah, Revelation twenty. Yeah, kind of. when we when we ruled when we ruled on the earth, not really we. It wasn't because uh, you know the prophets wasn't ruling. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, it was more the two thirds that were pretending to be the prophets, but those were actually false prophets. Kind of. Point is, they even they the two thirds had a chance. That's how merciful. Hey, call all y'all about your mouth shot. He's merciful that he allowed the two thirds to rule for a time, a thousand years. He allowed you to uh, rule for one day, according to him. All right, you complaining about a half a day with the so-called white man? Now, true enough, the so-called white man is devilish. Oh my God, a half a day, five hundred years, and you got trash islands. You got all kind of. <laughs> we well, we don't even know how to stop, man. That's how we knew the so-called white man couldn't have been. Real for three point something billion people in years. Bro, who the fuck cuts down the Amazon forest, bro? <laughs> this nigga actually just chopped down the Amazon forest for fun, bro. That's right. Like, you know, not to go off top of that, I'm just thinking like, that's, that's yeah. like this nigga couldn't be ruling for that long. Bro. That's right. Like this nigga is insane, bro. Like, that's why he couldn't have got to the moon. Cause yeah, the kinda. moon would have been already decimated. Yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Kinda. 50 years in. Yeah. Right? If they if they're the so called made it to the moon, they may they make it to the moon. they make it to other planets, which we know that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Alright, we're just using hypotheticals. But if the so called white man actually made it to the moon, if he actually made it to Mars, if he actually made it to Jupiter or Saturn, alright, which those are off ass names. Those are names to, you know what I'm saying, Greek gods. Greek gods kind of. You know what I'm saying? But th that's not their name. They're gonna be renamed, don't worry. All right, so-called white man, we're going to take that right off your hand for you. All right? You know what I'm saying? But, like, the, the point is, man, uh, you lukewarm Negroes, man, you are you are empowering the so-called white man by you saying or having indifference towards speaking against him. You are empowering him. You are, it's just like with the uh, whole Freddy Krueger thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you don't speak about him, it's almost like he gains his power. He gains more power by you just acknowledging that he's just in power and that just he's just a great being that what he put portrays him to be. So therefore, that's why he can go through the Renaissance and say, "Oh, this, um, uh, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shamashiach was a so-called white man, a devil, a stringy, a stringy-haired dog, a hippie." My Lord does not look like no damn hippie, man. All right. He don't eat no damn pork on Sunday afternoons after church, man. Yeah, I was uh, slightly just, I, I don't know we're getting a little bit out of point. Yeah, you know yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to stop. <laughs> I'm just thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, it's like, uh, you know, when Esau come up, well, that shit get real. Yeah, yeah. But I was just uh, thinking, too, uh, I was watching uh, earlier a video from by the uh, Elder Kazak, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he was uh, pretty much saying, uh, Meek Mill, it's called Meek Mill, God is not a white man. And I was watching it. And they and he showed a picture on Google with uh Yahweh God, so to speak, a, a a naked man doing like this with his finger, you know what I'm saying, with a naked Adam and his finger like this. They call it that that's the famous picture of Michelangelo. Yeah, con, con. I'm looking at this shit like, bro, if this guy just, bro, send me to hell, bro. I don't even give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm not dealing with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? that's almost like that. He basically said that shit. This is hell. There's a whole bunch of white angels and chocolates and shit. This is heaven. This is So, hey, brother Yashawama said this a while back. He said, man, if you niggas see 
a so-called white man floating in from the sky or whatever, you know what I'm saying, with, with nothing but a, uh, with, but a dress on. You say, you niggas better run. It's like, you know, no, no, you good. That was it. I just, yeah, I just glad with you. No, nah, but stay, stay on topic, man. You brothers, man, who, um, and we, uh, I say brothers like loosely, right? Uh, you guys that are in this, uh, in this, uh, that's within the, the that you're in, you have the flesh of an Israelite, right? But your mindset is not geared upon, you know what I'm saying, um, um, serving your house by Shemal Shah. You're, serve, you're, you're geared, upon, geared upon serving your own belly. You're geared upon serving your own fleshly needs or whatever. You are you are indeed a lukewarm Negro-like. This applies to you, all right? If you are uh, going on the highways and byways and you proclaim your house by Shemal Shah, Right, but in your daily walk, you being a total demon, all right, you throwing birthday parties and you know what I'm saying, and uh, and uh, and participating in this in this wickedness, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you 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 you're growing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and I understand, you know, brothers got to deal with demons, you know, they you know, they woman or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So you have to fight that fight, man, but that's what the Lord laid before you, you know what I'm saying? So you can fight that fight, man, and you can prove your worthiness, man. So it can save your family, man, because that's how you save your family. It's not going to be through, you know what I'm saying, making a deal with the so-called white man. It's not going to be a deal. You, you, you're you going to have to serve your by Shemal Shai if you truly believe that, right? Or else the Lord will take, them, take that problem right off your hand for you. <laughs> God, bro. You know? Man, that's I, I, I always think about my children, you know, like, Man, fuck it, man. You know, I ain't buying you no damn Christmas gifts. I don't give a fuck. You know, I ain't buying you no, I ain't telling you happy birthday. Yeah. You know, there ain't no Thanksgiving. We understand it's hard, man. It's not, you know, it, I mean, hard. not for me. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? But I know I got my mama, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She be wanting to do yeah. a little shit, you know, and that'd be like a little conflict of interest. But, you know, like I told my mama what it is, you know, and I told my daughter what it is too. Like, I leave leeway for my daughter too. Like, you gotta make your own decisions out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, how about Shemal Shah? He'll judge your ass, man. Right. Like, I can't help you, you know what I'm saying? All I can do is tell you about the Heavenly Father yeah. and how you bring in the structure. If you don't wanna listen, you know, that's on you. Yeah. You know what the fuck pork is, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You wanna go to my mama's house and eat pork? Yeah, how about Shemal Shah gonna kill your ass, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what yeah. it is. You know, you just gotta accept stuff like yeah. that, you know? Like, hey, man, you can, you can only do your part, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You can't try to trim your way or trim the way your ways of your how about she now shot to please nobody else you know that's right because that's when you're gonna get your ass killed you know what i'm saying hey man that's why i said man uh and you know like you know, it, it's like um like it, it's very important that you you know you stay within the spirit man and um yelling really loud doesn't mean you're in the spirit yeah. um you know what i'm saying if you're speaking the uh, correct doctrine the correct words of how about she now shot and you're walking that walk you know what I'm saying? You are truly in the spirit. All right. And therefore your your work your works will manifest. All right. It will not be it will not be something that will be hard to see. All right, that brother right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know what I mean? Like everybody has ailments, right? right? But if you are if you are not consistent in, in what your beliefs is and when, how you uh you know, you continue this walk, you know what I'm saying? And you're blaming literally what you're doing is when you say, Oh, you know, my for my daughter, really, what you're doing is you you throwing your kids under the bus, man. See, you 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 asking the Lord whether you know it or not, and this is for any brothers that have that, you know, uh, uh as far as I don't have any children, you know. Um Thank the Lord. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, but like I love children. That was the curse of it. I love children. Right, right, right. All right. I, I would I feel like I'd have been an awesome father. But you know, the Lord, it wasn't in the cards. You know what I'm saying? And um, but for the brothers that do have children who have to walk amongst the the, the, the wickedness and having to um deal with vaccines and I mean I can't imagine, right? But the Lord is going if the, if you are part of the elect, man, the, you know, your your gift, man, it's going I mean, I can literally see brothers breaking down and crying, man. You know what I'm saying? Being able to see your kids, yeah, and that's if the Lord, is if His Lord's will, to be able to save your kids, man, because you stay within the boundaries, the uh, you stay, you stay within the Lord with the things the Lord asks for, man, and to be able to see the fruits of your of your labor, to to be able to maintain, you know what I'm saying? To be able to enter in the kingdom, man, and, and start a new. Fresh life, man, to be able to, you know what I'm saying, raise your children from this point on correctly without any fear. 
all right, of retribution, all right? That's what we fighting for, man, all right? If you a lukewarm nigga that wears, a, you know, you wear, you got fringes on your car, man, fuck you, man. All right, the Most High's gonna kill you. He gonna kill your kids, your mama, your daddy, all right, your grandma, probably all at the same time. Okay, well, if you got fringes on your car, you're not a man. No, still like <laughs> let, me, let me. I mean, if you got fringes on your car, that's pretty much an indicator you're not a man. Yeah, man. yeah. You said you look warm, niggas, who have fringes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Warm, let me clean that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, niggas <laughs> that, you niggas that are in this thing for uh, impur or for impurities or, or impartiality, or if you don't actually truly believe in this word, you if you're not speaking against the nigga woman who's a, a complete demon who's against you, all right, if you're, if you're not speaking against the so-called white man, all right. If you are, if you're, if you're making deals, if you have a five hundred one c three and you so called an Israelite, you are a demon. All right. Yeah, that's literally in the scriptures. You don't supposed to do that. You that's right. You don't make no covenant with the heathen, man. That's right. You know, you an Israelite, but you made a literal covenant with the heathen. Bro, you gonna die. That's right. You plan. You plan. You really try. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. That's right. That's like one. That's the first commandment. That's right. What, you, what the hell are you doing out here, man? Them the niggas I'm talking about. I'm not literally saying that if you got fringes on your car, that should be bugged out to me anyway. So that's Just, a great. That's, that's, that's a great indicator. Your that's car, not, yeah, you that's might not yeah. speedy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nowhere near speedy. <laughs> nowhere near. Yeah, nowhere near. <laughs> like I, I'm really gonna be like, man, I, I don't. I don't really want to be like on your, your garment, bro. <laughs> <laughs> on your car, bro. You, son, you might not be right. It's not even your garment. That's wild, bro. Yeah, I don't know about that guy. Yeah, yeah. Like I would get away from. I would. I would. Yeah, you got some. You got some. You got some growing up to do, my man. Whoever you are, you know. But beside that's beside the point. The point is, um, I'm talking about the guys who are um, preaching unity camps. Um, you know what I'm saying? Preach and and and. Here's the thing, man. Like we, it says, uh, shall we walk together? You know, Amos three and three says, you know, what I'm saying, can two walk together unless they be agreed? I can't be teaching with guys that don't believe that the mark of the beast is the microchip. I can't teach with you. I can't teach with you believing that um, that 666 men on the earth ruled uh, is a mark of the beast or an embargo. All right, I can't teach with you. That's a major prophecy. You you're scattering a sheep. All right, that's very very dangerous, man. And I could be judged with you because I'm around you, bro. It could be perceived that I'm just like you. And that's further from the uh, furthest uh, from the truth, man. And I try to I, I try to do this thing the right way as best I can, man. You know, Lord, just like the brothers, man. The brothers, man. We, we pushing in this thing, man. It's, it's it's not it's not easy, man. But the truth was never made to be easy, man. It's it was it was for us to get straight, to get right, to come back to the Lord, man. So he so when when it, when that second when that um when that marriage comes when it happens, right? Because the, like the, the scripture says, you know what I'm saying, he's adorning his bride, man. Decking her out with pearls for the second coming of Yahweh shot. Because when he comes back, man, that's when the marriage takes place. That's when the nation of Israel is going to be the top ruler in the universe under Yahweh shot. Alright? You got anything? Uh, damn. You get meth. Uh, can we get to end up on what you just said. <laughs> uh, about the foolish virgins. It's yeah. in Matthew 20. I can, I can take that real quick. Kind of. Look, that's a if you got to finish reading this, yeah, then you get, we can end up on that. All right, this is uh, back in Ezekiel. You had something else, Mark? Um, I mean, the point was made, I think. But <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. I, did, I did have something just to land back Okay, go ahead. You, right. you can say foolish you know, virgin, right? Yeah, kind of. Kind of like Matthew what we were talking about. Um, this whole place is just, it's just defiled, man. It's yeah. all, you know what I'm saying? Just, this, this whole land is just unclean and you know just makes me think about you know job 14 and 4 mm. what clean thing comes out of the unclean you know That's what i'm right saying right. not once so it's like thinking of these niggas who basically have the covenants with the heathen trying to have some type of ties with some when we know everything is unclean right it's like what's the point man yeah, you know what i'm saying right. from, from day one when we were born we're unclean you know yeah. what i'm saying our job is unclean everything right. is unclean in this thing so it's like it's really insane to even try to gain anything in this unclean society man. right there's nothing there's nothing really to be lukewarm for if you're yeah. <laughs> lukewarm then you, you're really just fucking yourself over yep. for lack of a better word that's right you know you you uh you know you dirty you trying to spray some cologne on you your ass musty boy that shit is not working you know what i'm saying but you're not being a more. <laughs>
That's right. Yeah, I'm gonna finish with you. You want to bring it up or no? You good. okay? Kind of. It's uh Ezekiel twelve and twenty five. For I am the Lord Yahweh. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more, no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it? Said the Lord Yahweh. Again, the word of the Lord Yahweh came to me, saying, "Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say." The vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesies of, of times that are far off. And that's what Jake be like, man. Okay, yeah, it might happen in my lifetime, but like may, maybe with my kids, you know, grown or something. Like, it ain't gonna happen no time soon. You see how much technology advancing, boy? Mm -hmm. Nah, nigga, this shit finna happen now. Mm -hmm. Well, here you go. Therefore, say unto them, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord, Yahweh. So, hey, <laughs> Yahweh said he's going to bring the sword, famine, pestilence, destruction. That's what's coming, man. And we see it. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, don't, don't, don't be getting too comfortable. Like, uh... One, one and Wayne who had this song, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't get too comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Hey, don't, don't get too comfortable out here, man, you know? Right. I got this uh, Matthew 25 for you. Come. This is uh, Matthew 25 and uh, from the top, 25 and 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They, they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And, the mid and at midnight there, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us, uh, give us of... Give us of your oil. Oh, hell no, nah, boy. That unity, <laughs> that unity camp shit got your mind fucked up out here, boy. You think you feel, I'm going to give you some of my oil, boy? No, nah, uh-uh. It ain't going to work like that the next time. That's you right. know what I'm saying? You better get all your oil right now. That's right. You know? For our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. Right. What the hell we with? We out here trying to make sure we straight. You know what I'm saying? How the hell you going to, I'm going to make sure you straight, nigga. I hope I got enough for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. Yep. <laughs> you done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It says, and they that were ready went in, went in with him to the marriage. And the door was shut. That's it. Mm. That's it. Once that door closes, it's closed. Just like when, you know, when you're young, your grandma be like, once I close my door, yeah, yeah it's over with. You know, on the porch. You know what I'm <laughs> your ass ain't getting in. That's you right. know what I'm saying? So, hey, that's that's just how it is. You, you got to get, you got to get, you got to build your wisdom knowledge up to the highest pinnacle. That's you know right. what I'm saying? And, and you got to do it now. That's right. You can't be waiting. You can't be playing around out here. This is deadly serious because when the time of the bride, bridegroom, when our Lord Yahweh Shah, who is in this parable is the bridegroom yep. when he come and he gonna be no talking yeah right he ain't waiting on nobody you know you better have your shit together or it's, you know you just finished scripture you know? say uh you know what I'm saying when he makes his return shall he find faith on mm -hmm. earth since he find faith on earth kind all right of. and that faith is going as the talking in this um parable this parable is talk is uh going into your works and your uh, and your understanding and being able to have that in the oil right was liking unto your um your works and faith that's right uh, you yeah. know what I'm saying and you're able to you know what I'm saying uh, uh understand this truth and walk in it um 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 in this in this in this meekness you know what I'm saying humbly right all right that that's your oil man kind bro see what I'm saying kind. you out here being a hypocrite man you walking around as those other five virgins with no oil man and, but you got the lamp. The lamp being that you know you're Israel. You're saying you're Israel, you go on the highways and byways. But you're not completing the walk, so you're walking around with no oil. Alright? You're playing a dangerous game, because when the bridegroom's come, when the bridegroom comes back, Yahweh when he returns, you're going to be what we're about to read right here. You can finish off, bro. Uh, this says, Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. What the scripture says, 
when uh, when uh, when the, when the, those false prophets come before the Lord and say, Lord, Lord, all right, yeah. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Yep. And the Lord said, Get away from me. I, I don't know you. I don't know you, man. <laughs> Where your oil at, bro? That's right. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got no oil, I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it says, but he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. That's right. It's just like you try to put some oil. Uh, you your, your, your car take 5W20. And you try to put some 10W30. <laughs> That's not, it's not taking that oil. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know right. that oil. I That's can't right. run off that. That's you know right. what I'm saying? And that's, you trying to go get some oil. And it's not no oil, bro. That's not oil. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah not accepting that, man. That's you right. Know, you gotta, you gotta accept Yahweh Shah and what his his currency. You know, which his currency is these laws, that's your commandments, this truth, your walk, your works. All this coincides with each other. That's right. You know what I'm saying that's that's your oil. You that's know, right? Any um any man who try to creep in another another way is the same as a thief and a robber. That's right. You know. That's right. And I always liken it to uh, the Willy Walker and the Chocolate Factory. You know, I grew up on that. I'm, I'm not sure you brothers grew up on that. I'm yeah, you know, well, you know about Willie, man. Yeah, Charlie, yeah. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's yeah. probably the newer one, you know what I'm saying? But Willy Walker is the one from the 70s, you know what I'm saying? And that's the one I grew up on. And, and how do you get to go to his uh, Chocolate Factory? You have to get go to ticket. Yeah, kind. Of. Oh no, yes. that's the same one. They used to show same, that in okay. all amount of schools. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get that golden ticket, yeah. my man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If you don't get that golden ticket, you ain't going to the chocolate factory, homie. And when you get there, just because you got the golden ticket don't mean you're gonna be able to win in the end. Because yeah. it's only for a few, man. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Your oil, like the scriptures read, and it, 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 it's all in red, by the way. So this is our Lord and Savior, how shall I give you this parable? All right, letting you know that if you don't, if you're not walking in uh, in the uh, in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai through the law, statutes, commandments, and teaching others also, you know what I'm saying? You are walking around. You are in effect having a you have on a, you had on you have on a dress. All right, you got on a dress. You got the look. You got the lamp, but you got no oil. And you're, you know, literally the Lord's going to look at you with that blank stare on his face like, I don't know who you are. You know, stay here with your real people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we know what happened to America when you stay here. Um, I'm going to finish off. You know, I don't know if you want to. I got it. it man, beautiful action. Let, let, you say it let your spirit flow. <laughs> it says, um. It says, but he answered and said, verily, I say unto you, I know you not. It says, watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor hour when the Son of Man cometh. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And, and, unto, and unto one he, he gave five talents, and, unto, and, to, uh, and uh, to another two, and to another one. To every man according to his his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he th then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. And likewise, he he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his lord's money. <laughs> Yeah, so so Yahweh Shah, he coming back, bang, like shit, he like, he, he got a fucking sign. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, hey, I fronted, I fronted you a couple things, you know what I'm saying? Hey, when I come, what, what, what? Did you increase it? Yeah, right, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit, don't, you, you can't, you, you ain't even make what he fronted you back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you supposed to be. Kick it to him, good. like, give, kick it to him just like how Jake, how Jake yeah, got it. You know what I'm saying? Hey. So you, then you. You get in front of the thing, you know what I'm saying? You got to, uh, you gonna, you gonna try to double it, triple it, so you can make your money to pay them back and profit. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's how this truth is. The, the Lord, he done fronted us some things. You That's know right. what I'm saying? Like, we got to make his money back, plus, you know what I'm saying, double the profit so we can have something for ourselves. That's right. Know? That's right. So, so we get buy our own things. And you know give him, and give him, and give him the glory mm -hmm. for it. Exactly. <laughs> he fronted us. He us with who would be on if he didn't put us on. You That's know what I'm right. saying? It said, let me read that again because I love this. Like, this is the Lord going to come back and say, Where's my money? Yeah, pretty much. 
You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> we businessmen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is our Lord's business. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It says, but he but he that had received one and went and digged in the earth and hid his and hid his Lord's money. After a long time the Lord of those of those servants cometh and and reckoned with them. He says, and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest us, uh, uh, deliver unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained besides them five talents more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so he doubled it. He doubled it. You know what I'm saying? Right? Yeah. Man, that's beautiful, man. It says, his Lord said, said unto him, well done, thou, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over, over a few things. I will make thee ruler of over many things. Woo! Hey. <laughs> hey, let me tell you that, yo, bro. Hey, real quick, just to add this in. I got this coworker, you know, she she a nigga woman, she don't know, but she an Israelite, you know what I'm saying? But she don't know what the hell she be saying, but she always say that. She say, I'ma take uh my uh be glad for this little that I had, cause uh Jesus said that. When you, when you uh, be happy over the little that you got, he gonna make you rule over me. <laughs> and I think about that when she say that, That's like right. she don't know what the hell she talking about with the scriptures. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? How much more than truth, man? Yeah. How much more? Yeah. All right, because uh, hey, he gave us, he gave us, he gave us the small breakdown, the milk, right? He gave us the milk, and then year by year, month by month, day by day. Little increase here, little increase here, and, and through your faith, through the through uh, the fire, all right, through the fire of uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, um, of, of dealing within this truth, you know what I'm saying, having to cut off impurities about yourself from this world God, that attach you to this world, birthday parties, um, Halloween, you know, trick or treats, really? Christmas, weed smoking, weed smoking, <laughs> yeah. drinking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. Things that are impure to you. He cuts them off. Yeah. He's impure. He's making you, he's making you little by little, man, shine like the gold that you are, man. And uh -huh. eventually when you get around people, and brothers can attest to this, people see it on you. Oh, yeah, they yeah, see yeah, that glow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know you're somebody. They just yeah. don't know what you are. That's the, that's the spirit of the Lord <laughs> that's risen upon you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know? And that's the Lord's, you increasing it. That's what the Lord said right here. We'll get that again. Uh -huh. This is beautiful, actually. Uh -huh. We could have did a whole lesson on this. Well, <laughs> we are. Yeah, this the, yeah, we did do it. Yeah, <laughs> the spirit. Yeah. yeah. This is the way to finish it off. Um, it said, His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou. Let me, let me start at 20 again. This is uh, Matthew 25 and 20. It says, And so he that had received five talents came and brought and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, thou, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained besides them five talents more. Verse 21, it says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of, the, of thy Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. See, right there also is, um, that's an allegory to say that even in this truth, there are certain brothers that have that, that have the talent to be able to break down scriptures, re remember um, um, precepts. precepts, you know what I'm saying? He knows how to go into the herbs. He knows how to go. I'm talking brother is on fire, man. Brother knows how to do all these things, has these many talents, and he knows how to get on camera and and um, and, 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 and and give it to the nation of Israel. Right, right, right. right. And that's a, those yeah. are, those are many making, to, making the most of his of, of his gifts. That's that right, the Lord love him with. That's you know right, what I'm because if you're a good reader, you know you know how to read good. You know if you if that's the gift that the Lord gave you, man. Read to the best of your ability. That's right. You know what I'm saying you good at going into history and prophecy. Yep. Imagining it with the sharing scriptures. It. Yep. You know what I'm saying sharing it. You know do. Bring that out, you know right. what I'm saying, to the best of your abilities. That's, that's like doubling it. And then also, you know, covenant to prophesize, of course, you know, but just mainly excelling, abounding in the work of the Lord. That's like right. Getting better. That's know? right. Like doing more and more. That's you know? right. Gradually. And, and, and gradually. That's yeah. the main, that's the main word. That's yeah. why, that's why it, it's important that you don't tarry when it comes to the Lord's uh, business. Yeah. You don't tarry 
when the Lord deliver you that information that you're an Israelite, man, you better run. Yeah, oh yeah. You better get that and run with it. Yeah, yeah. And keep learning. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Keep going, right, right. You know, even if that means you have to watch videos day and night. Yeah. All right, if you gotta, you know what I'm saying? If you gotta take, you know, like a lot of brothers, you know what I'm saying? Get out the, you know what I'm saying? Get out the notepad and, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Start taking notes. Research. Yeah. That's, that's how I learned a lot. That's, that's how I learned. Yeah, kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. That's how I took it seriously because yeah. I couldn't, you know what I mean? Like, I, you could just tell me and I'm Israel. Like, I'm, I'm skeptical. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah that, that, that's scriptural, though. They used to say, uh, that's like uh, the Church of Berea. They had to search the scriptures daily to see if those things were true. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's, 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 that's a part of being... Be di that's a part of giving diligence. That's giving right. Diligence to make your calling and election sure. That's right. You know? and, and just sticking on to the point with the uh, with the, the, the he, he spoke about the one servant that um that had the five talents and he increased it and made double. Right. The Lord uh, the Lord looked at him and said, you know, good, good job, faithful uh, faithful servant. Right. And also he, he gave an example of a, another servant that had less talent. Yep. But, but he, he still, still it. he yeah. still increased. No, he was he was inbound. Yeah. There's some there's some brothers who might have dyslexia. Or who might have a stuttering problem, yeah, or yeah. you know what I'm saying, in certain impurities kind of. within this walk, kind right? Of. But they might not know in history. They might not know, you know what I'm saying, like you know. But they bring something else, kind of. right? Whether it be herbs or something else that that helps. Yeah. It be uh, brothers uh, be stuttering, and when the spirit come on them, you can see like that stuttering problem kind of go away. Yep. You know what I'm saying, like that's that's them abounding in the work of the Lord. You know, continue like fuck. I I, I, I stir, but I'ma still prophesize. That's right. right. And, you know, they get better. That's you right. Know what I'm saying that's 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 how you grow. Like you you can understand, but the precepts, but you can't really re yeah. relate them like exactly. that. But you kept going. Yeah. And you, and you got better. You know. That's you didn't give your talent. Exactly. You didn't you know? give up. Right. That's right. The Lord. The Lord glories in that man. Kind, bro. See what I'm saying. I'm gonna continue reading. It says, yeah. um, "This Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant." Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make you. I will make thee ruler over many things. He entered into the joy of the Lord Yahweh Shai. He also that received two talents came and said, Lord Yahweh Shai, thou deliverest, deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shai. Then, when, when then which he had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering uh, where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid, and went and and hid thy talent in the earth. Wow. Lo, there, <laughs> lo, there thou has uh, that. Uh, that uh, slacky, slacky. Lo, there thou has that in is done is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knowest that I reap where I sow not, and gather and gather where I have straw at uh, where. I, Salaki, and gather where I have not straw. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers. And then at my coming I should have received my own with usury. <laughs> Your house out on play, bro. You know what I'm saying? Your house out on play, so you come back, your ass better make sure you 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 did what your ass would have been doing. Or he gonna come back for that usual. Yeah, God, you know what I'm saying? That means you gonna owe him that what you what you, you owed him and plus more. And, and how and how, how you gonna have to pay him? Through blood. Jeez. That's how you gonna pay up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Blood sacrifice. With, with interest on it. You know what I'm saying? So take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which have ten talents. Mm -hmm. You see, so that's how we seen niggas like that. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Personally, I've seen niggas like that. They had can switch that sword, ching, ching, ching. Up to my man can poke you. You know what I said? Cut your head off for you. Even knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? And now where's these niggas at? We ain't gonna name no names. Or you might not be the greatest, sharpest brother, but you had a talent. You know what I'm saying? But you be like. Man, I ain't, you know, it, it don't really matter. My, my little talent ain't gonna help the exactly. ministry, y'all, yeah, by seeing me outside. Oh, your little talent ain't gonna help? Okay, I'll take that and give it to somebody else who got 10 talents in. 
let, let them get stronger. Or I take that talent that you got to give it to another brother. Yeah, that's right. Watch him do something with it and flip it. You know man, that, I, that, that's one of the biggest fears I had. Oh, man. The Lord taking the little it's talent. Because I have a, you know, as brothers can see, I have a talent going into history. I've always had a life for history. I've God. always liked, um, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, like I have a, I have some oratorial skills. I can speak, you know what I'm saying, where people hear me quite loudly without me even trying to. I don't try to be loud, but it just is what it is. And itself, yeah. and itself itself is, a, um, is, is, a, is, is a, it, that's a talent within itself, right? To be able to project loudly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Lord right. said to be you know, being a speaker. Hey, you know, <laughs> that's, that's one of your talents. You know, so you you make the most of it. You know, even you know, you know, you ain't gotta be the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? Long if the heavenly Father gave you something, you know what I'm saying? To make the most of what He gave you. That's you right. Know what I'm saying that's right. So hey, man, the Lord is also <laughs> like you, like the brothers, man. The brothers know how to go into breaking down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, different things pertaining to within this world we're, we're currently in, you know what I'm saying? Like they, like the brother has, a, you know what I'm saying, a talent with, you know what I'm saying, um, figuring out different herbs to try to cure himself of certain ailments, you know what I'm saying, without having to deal with Esau. That's a talent, all right? The, the brother right here, the brother right here definitely, man, has a has a real, has a, 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 a grinder spirit, man, you know what I'm saying? He, man, he, he, wants, he, he wants the other brethren to get to do right, man. By your how about Shemal Shai, man? So if you gotta get tough on you, goddamn it, he gonna get tough on you. That's just what it is. Alright? And, and and that's what all three of you brothers come with a leadership quality, man, within itself, man. Alright? You have to be in order to be a uh, to in order to be a great leader, man, you have to be a great follower, man. And therefore, therefore, you have to be able to follow how about Shemal Shai to be a great leader. Alright? People are gonna be able to see your walk. And if you are impure in your walk, man, people are going to point that out. They're going to be able to see it. And if they can see it, you know you how about Shemar Shah can see it. And therefore, like the scripture says, he's going to take that one talent that you hid in the earth, all right? Woe unto the prophet that buried his um buried uh buried his talent under a bushel, man. Or his light under a bushel. All right. The Lord's going to take that away from you, give it to the brother who has twice as many as you. And he's going to get your ass up out of here with usury. All right, and his brother's got anything else? Yeah, that's it. Hey, man, with that, you know, we want to give all praises, glory, none or two. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukal Kadash. Hey, double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, you know what I'm saying? Death to America, death to the nigger woman, all right, death to uh, you know, the so-called white man, all his uh, all his imperial uh, thoughts, all his wickedness, all right, you know? Uh, we, can't, we can't wait for this place to go out, man, you know what I'm saying? You lukewarm niggas. If you're not of the house of it, uh, the house of David, right? If you ain't slave for salvation on this on this side, man, hey man, you'll be out of the kingdom, man. But on this side, you know, it's nothing personal death to you, all right? So, you know, hey, with, with that, we gonna, right. you know, definitely we're gonna get out of here. Hey, shalom to the to the elect, man. Shalom. Shalom. No personal.